All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, we got some leftover ingredients from the past few recipes we made, like the eggs and the spam. So we're gonna make Gordon Ramsay's famous style soft scrambled eggs. You just also need some butter and some creme fraiche. We're gonna start off by just kind of cubing up this spam real nice. This was left over from the katsu video. And then you're gonna put it into little tiny cubes. That makes it easier to pan fry. You, you wanna get these guys kind of crispy, almost imitating bacon bits at this point. You're going for kind of a bacon and eggs vibe, but you're using spam, which I think adds a nice little layer to this. Uh, throw that into a saute pan, the slightest bit of oil. You don't really need a lot because these will release a lot of fat on their own and just start to fry those up. Break them up in the pan a little bit just to make sure they're not stuck together. And then you really can't screw these up. You can't really burn them. You can't get too, they're just gonna melt down into these lovely little bits. Toss them around every once in a while. You'll see that nice color start to form on them. Nice little brown. And that right there is exactly what you're looking for. They almost start to look exactly like bacon. So just cook them down at that point. Uh, now we're gonna add our eggs. Any amount of eggs you want, you can make. I'm doing four. Add those into a cold uh, saute pan or pot, whatever you have. Check on your uh, spam bits here and make sure that they're browning up nicely. And when they are, just turn them off, move them to the side. We're gonna reheat those at the end with the eggs. To the eggs, we're gonna add one tablespoon of butter. It could be cold, it could be melted, it doesn't matter at this point. Do not salt or pepper these eggs yet. I do that at the end. I know that's a bit contentious, but Gordon doesn't do it, so I'm just following his lead on these. Uh, some people do, J. Kenzie Lopez Alt says to salt them whenever and they won't turn gray. But at this point, turn your heat on around medium and start to just mix this together. The butter will melt as they come to heat. You could kind of also use that as your barometer to tell when they're getting warm for the first time. You're gonna do about 30 seconds on the heat and 30 seconds off the heat. So when you're getting ready to remove it for the first time, I like to also come in and just lay a towel down on the bench, which you'll see me do shortly. But just keep these eggs moving. Real important, this is a kind of five minutes of just constant movement with these eggs. Here we go, laying down the towel. This is just so you could, don't scorch your bench with the hot pot. Pull them off, start to move them around a little bit. You're not gonna see much forming yet, but this is just giving them time to stay at a consistent heat and not getting too warm. Throw it back on the, the heat for 30 seconds more and then pull them back off and you're gonna to start to see some curds forming at the bottom like that. The egg is gonna to start to solidify down along the heat. It's exactly what you want. Be scraping that up, mixing it back into the eggs, making a cohesive mix at this point. And then you're just gonna keep repeating that over and over again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, until it really starts to come together. I didn't do a lot of editing here because I kind of want you to see how it works in real time. There's maybe 10, 15 seconds cut from each one of these clips, but overall this is the full length of just cooking and stirring. Pulling this back off the heat now, you see even more starting to form here. Make sure your heat is really kind of middle low here. You don't want to be burning these, so adjust that as you go. But you could really start to see it start to form at this point. So work it, work it, work it. That's the most important thing here. You don't want any of these eggs sitting around burning on the bottom. You want to keep the movement throughout. At this point, you might want to reheat your spam bits just to make sure that they're hot and really getting crispy. Keep working those eggs. You're probably about a minute and a half away here from being done, so just keep working them. See those real nice curds forming on the bottom there. And at this point, we're gonna basically keep the heat right around that same point, but it's uh, time to add in some of the other ingredients to this dish. So grab your spam. Try to not get too much of the hot oil because that might cook the eggs longer than you want. So just scrape those bits out. You could get a little bit of the oil in, but try to avoid pouring just that hot oil straight in and then mix throughout, get that spam real incorporated. You can see it's not getting stuck in big chunks. So that's how you know it's still a very nice loose mixture here. It's not just sitting on top of it. And then back on very, very low heat, you're gonna add in one small kitchen spoon or a tablespoon's worth of creme fraiche. This will stop the cooking process and also make these real creamy and real, uh, almost delicate in, in a sense, but it'll just really kind of make this delicious. Salt and pepper your eggs at this stage, give it a nice final mix to really incorporate everything. You may want to turn the heat back on slightly just to keep it warm as you're doing it. And then plate these bad boys up. You can see they scrape out 
not liquidy, but not like you're plopping out a solid of egg. It's a real delicate mixture, and they're absolutely delicious. Top it off with your favorite Parmesan cheese if you want. I think it just kind of brings this to the next level. But you get the salty from the cheese here. You get the salty from the Spam here. Then you get the creamy richness from the egg and from the creme fraiche. And there you go. Those are the easiest eggs. Just threw them together. Gordon would kill me if he saw the Spam bits in it. But these are delicious. Absolutely try them.